Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome. We're really glad you're here. We hope you get some easy meal ideas and you like what you'll see and hit that red subscribe button. To all of our returning subscribers, thank you for hanging with us and stopping back by. We're back with some easy meal ideas for you. Since my hand is still giving me issues, we started off with a really easy meal, some loaded potatoes. I sauteed some mushrooms, added some flour and seasoning, and then milk or half and half, and then finished it at the end with some sour cream to make a creamy mushroom sauce. I made the creamy mushroom sauce for the potatoes, for loaded potatoes. Tim put some other stuff on his, and I just made a spinach salad. I didn't have any strawberries, so I used cranberries, feta, walnuts and just a bottled Caesar dressing. That's what we're having tonight. Loaded potatoes and salad. It's a rare day. Tim is home. He was able to grill. He grilled some pork chops and salmon. We've got enough for a couple of days. Oh, so rare for these guys. Look at that. Hot. Are you burning your fingers? Yeah. We use this it's Harry and David it. charred pineapple bourbon grilling sauce on the pork chops. Did you put it on the salmon? Mm-mm. Oh, my salmon is plain with olive oil, salt, and pepper. We've I didn't got want to some. Waste it. <laughs> you didn't want to waste it on mine? Mm mm, on the fish. Okay. Maybe he needs to go back to the golf course. We've also got mashed potatoes, sesame green beans, and Tim's favorite vegetable, which is. What is that? That looks like something that grows out in the yard. Tim doesn't like broccoli. My favorite vegetable, broccoli. So that's what we're having tonight. Tonight we're just having wraps with chicken. I went to Sam's Club because I found again in my Ibotta app a $2 rebate on a rotisserie chicken. So this whole chicken that Tim is going to eat all of in one sitting mm -hmm. was $2.98 after the rebate. So I hope to get several meals out of that as well as use the bones for stock. At some point we're layering, what do you call it? Yum yum. Mm -hmm. Tim likes yum yum sauce, chicken, lettuce, tomato for him, bacon, cheese, and he's having carrots and hummus. I'm just going to have fruit. That's what's for dinner tonight. I don't bake as much in the summer, but I had some peaches that needed to be used. So I got online and found this recipe site called Dessert for Two, and I had all the ingredients. So I made a little quick peach cobbler. I chopped up my fresh peaches and then added sugar, cinnamon, vanilla, and lemon juice. I basically followed the directions. If you'll see from Tim's comments later, I thought we both thought it needed a little more sugar. I did use skim milk, which might have made a difference. I think it called for whole milk. You mix up the filling, you mix up the crust. I took two ramekins, or in my case, grab it bowls, melt the butter in the oven, then add the crust ingredients and the peach filling and bake it. Tim's either getting his cobbler or cut it out. So it needs more sugar? Mm-hmm. So you don't like the peach cobbler? I do like it. It just needs more sugar. You want me to sprinkle some on the top? I can put some turban oil on it. Yes, I'm recording you. You thought this was over, didn't you? And it might be. So on a scale of one to 10, where 10 is awesome and one is it sucks. Wow. Is that the diplomatic side of you, Mr. Peacemaker Middle Child? Since I had the rotisserie chicken from Sam's that we'd made the wraps out of, I decided to repeat a recipe. I'll leave a link to the original recipe as well as the video where I made these a few weeks ago that showed more in-depth detail how to make these sour cream or white chicken enchiladas. Tonight I made some white or sour cream chicken enchiladas. This is a recipe I first tried. Um, four, five, six weeks ago, and I will leave a link both to the recipe from the website where I got it and also where I showed how we made it, although I showed you a little bit of that. So I made the enchiladas, I made some rice, some beans, I also cut up part of an avocado I had left from lunch where I made avocado toast for my lunch. And I'm also having a bottle of water with a packet of true lemon raspberry lemonade mixed in the water. So that is dinner tonight. We are going to have some ribs for supper tonight. I have made up a dry rub, brown sugar, salt and pepper, chili powder, chipotle powder, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder. Got it mixed up. We're gonna put it on the baby back ribs. We've gotta take the membrane off and then put the dry rub 
I'm gonna let them sit for about an hour, hour and a half at room temperature. Then we're going to par cook them in the Instant Pot and finish them on the grill with barbecue sauce. I dried the rack of ribs as much as I could and then with my bad hand, I started trying to work on the membrane. It took a while to get a place started, but once you get a piece started, you should be able to pull most of that thin white membrane off. You want to get all of that off the back of the ribs or else they'll be tough. Once you get a good spot going, like right here, you should be able to pull it off. I sprinkled on the dry rub that I'd made on both sides. I like to do this at least 30 or 40 minutes ahead of time, as much as an hour and a half or two before I start. I've seen a lot of recipes on how to cook ribs in the Instant Pot, but I've always done mine this way. I use half water and half root beer, soda, Coke, Dr. Pepper. It works for me. Take the ribs. Mm, with my bad hand. Meaty side out, so the bones towards the inside and wrap them around on the trivet as best I can. i set them for 22 minutes high pressure and then let them natural pressure release. Never quick release meat. Ready for the grill. Or you could put them in the oven on broil. Had some little red new potatoes from the farmer's market. I boiled them till they were pork tender. I'm gonna smash them and add butter, salt, pepper, uh, sour cream, bacon bits and chives and make like loaded smashed potatoes. We're gonna try the grill mats that we bought Gosh, two or three months ago at Sam's Club. Let's see how they work on the outside gas grill. This is the brand of copper mats that we're trying out that we got at our Sam's Club a while back. They're probably not even available. It's been a while. They got pushed to the back and we kind of forgot to dry them. While Tim manned the grill, I finished the smashed potatoes. I added salt, pepper, butter, bacon bits, and sour cream, and I did taste and adjust and add more. Four minutes on the first side. I'm gonna go four. I'm afraid they're falling apart. They sat in the instant pot a while waiting on you. I'm afraid they're gonna fall apart. I need a little round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And since I have chives growing really well in my garden. Try to move the whole mat. Get a hold of it. Do you want me to go get your glove? Yeah, it would be easier than I can do with this. You sure? You don't want to break them. Go get your glove. Okay. That works too. No, it's like ten four. It's not even. It's not even hot. Nope. After being on the grill? Well, that's kind of cool. Would it be if you touch it while it's on the grill, but as soon as it comes off, it's not. I'm sorry, but those look really good. So for dinner tonight, hot off the grill, we've got a slab of ribs, some smashed loaded new potatoes, baked beans, and I'm having grapes because I don't eat baked beans, and that is what's for dinner tonight. Lordy, Lordy, that was close. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful and blessed day, y'all. We'll see you in the next video.